The delay in the release of U.S. Census data is complicating Illinois' efforts to draw new political maps. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell went to East St. Louis tonight, where several Democrats questioned the accuracy of the census. People were afraid of that pandemic to come out and take part in uh, uh, the census. Black leaders in the Metro East say the coronavirus took a census process that already undercounts minority voters and only made it worse. COVID-19, it hit us. It didn't help. So it actually was a, is a very um, huge hurdle. The first census envelope started arriving in mailboxes just as the pandemic broke out in March last year, forcing East St. Louis Mayor Robert Easton III to get creative. We paid people um, to, to want to get out and get the word out. You know, we did the Facebook campaign. We did the everything you can think of as far as the advertisement and all that. Um, but we just don't think we got in the in the doors like we needed to. In the fall, Governor Pritzker chimed in, urging people everywhere to fill out the census form. Just like voting, getting counted in the census is an act of civic engagement, a demand to be fully heard and fully counted. Later, the Trump administration extended counting deadlines, then reversed course and halted the counting when the Republican-led Senate stalled. We had another, another two or three weeks left in the census, and we were only one of the only states that they said stop, you know, where we were still trying to count here in the underserved communities. So that's not fair as well. President Trump played around with the census and gathering those numbers. It was definitely playing politics with uh, minority communities and communities of color. Democrats plan to use partial data from the American Community Survey instead. ACS data undercounts minority populations. Republicans warn that will backfire. Regardless of how the census performance was, it, that data is better than the ACS data specifically for rural and minority communities. Redistricting is very, very important and is somewhat tricky. Stanley Franklin is with the St. Louis chapter of the NAACP. Do you trust politicians in Illinois not to gerrymander? <laughs> Do I? Well, the thing that about gerrymandering, and sometimes they do it to, to gain power. You know, it's, it's a situation where those that are in power tend to want to, you know, they want to draw a district that's favorable to people that would elect them. And that's not always fair for the community. They stack the decks to their advantage. That was Mark Maxwell reporting. Democrats do plan to send a map to the governor's desk before June 30th. They expect Republicans to challenge that map in court. Now, Republicans challenged Governor Pritzker to testify in this hearing. He declined.